dear students we study today this topics this is new chapter so projectile so we can see this is a projectile that means uh, from the ground level we can see this picture and we study about any object which is thrown from this point and it is vertically it is uh, projected up from this point with velocity initial velocity u and after cert certain time it takes the highest point highest point then after it fall down into the same level or surface level so in this uh, way if any particle is projected or um, any particle is thrown vertically upward it is vertically upward and it attains some height greatest height then after it um, fall down into the near of the surface or surface level then this in this way we can project any object in this motion so this motion is oblique motion so this curved path is known as the pro object is in projectile motion this curved path object is thrown in curved path is known as projectile so here is uh, we can see that this point the angle so any object if thrown with the initial velocity u and it makes a horizontal component this level surface level is alpha then this alpha is known as angle of projection alpha angle ma hamile yela project garega chhau ra isko velocity to object athwa particle ko velocity u huncha ra u ko horizontal component u ka alpha huncha ra u ko vertical component u sin alpha huncha tesai gari yadi yelle chai euta certain point ma greatest height attain gareko cha bhane यो हाइट चाहिँ त्यो अब्जेक्टले कभर गरेको सबभन्दा म्याक्सिमम हाइट हो सो दिस एच डिनोट्स और रिप्रेजेंट्स ग्रेटेस्ट हाइट अफ दैट पार्टिकल और हाईएस्ट पॉइंट दिस इज हाईएस्ट पॉइंट एंड दिस अटेंस द हाईएस्ट हाइट और म्याक्सिमम हाइट अफ दैट पार्टिकल एंड सर्टेन हाइट क्रस गरेपछि जुन लेभलमा आउँछ थ्रो गरेको लेभल र हाम्रो यो खसेको लेभल एउटै भएको हुनाले यो and this is the distance covered by any particle in this curved path so this distance from this point to this point is maximum this is range it is also known as horizontal range so let's write let alpha is equal to angle of projection and capital r is horizontal range or simply we can say that range only kati angle ma project gariyeko cha tela alpha lekhincha that is alpha angle of projection ra kati range bhaneko distance ho starting point dekhi ending point samma ko distance nai hamro range ho ra cap capital h bhaneko hamro yo greatest height ho ग्रेटेस्ट हाइट ग्रेटेस्ट हाइट हो रहा अर्क टर्म भी आँच टी भर्म आँच टी को हम टाइम अफ फ्लाइट हो टाइम अफ फ्लाइट टाइम अफ फ्लाइट भित्तीक तो टाइम टेकन बाई एनी पार्टिकल फ्रम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट स्टार्टिंग सर्फेस लेवल बा थ्रो कर हम जी समय सर्फेस लेवलम आईपुग्न लग् तो टोटल टाइम लाइम यहाँ टाइम अफ फ्लाइट भिच इज कैपिटल टी सो इन दिस वे सच टाइप अफ नोटेशन और टर्मिनोलॉजी वी कैन यूज इन प्रोजेक्टाइल्स सो लेट्स सी सम फर्मुला रिलेटेड टू दिस प्रोजेक्टाइल सो सम रिलेशन्स और लिस्ट अफ फर्मुला लिस्ट अफ फर्मुला सो नंबर वन so first of first of all time to attain the highest point highest point highest point ma kunai particle yo position bada throw bhara highest point position ma pugna lageko samay lai hami time to attain the highest point bhanchu so this is Known as small t, and its formula is 
u sin alpha divided by g is my gravity open kura also and you can you know object when you go gravity lay tracks and where you go around i'm using your formula is really start work so small t is equal to u sin alpha divided by g so this is a formula to find out the time taken by any particle to reach the highest point कुने वड़ा पार्टिकल यो पॉइंट बड़ा थ्रो करेगा मैक्सिमम आइट में पुगना को लागी लगने समय ले आमी यो फॉर्मूला बड़ा यो फॉर्मूला यूज़ करते हैं वाय यो फॉर्मूला बातने आमी वी कैन सॉल्व मेनी मोर क्वेश्चंस सो रिमेम्बर वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस फॉर्मूला ओवर हियर नाउ टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट so time of flight means यहाँ बाटा यहाँ सम में जति time है मिला लाए को सो तो particle लाई यहाँ बाटा यहाँ सम पुनो को लागी तेरी ने time लाग सा यो बने को आम्रो half time हो और it is if it is multiplied by two then it will be time of flight और आम्रो half distance सम में यो point बाटा यो call path को यो point सम में पुनो लाई लाए को समय जी यो इला into two कर दा आउने समय जी आम्रो time of flight हो चुन ground बाटा शुरू बारा ground में down some I put on like lag me total time so capital T is it is multiplied by 2 means 2 times u sin alpha divided by G L2 le multiply gara da una only term u 2 times u sin alpha by G now we can find out horizontal range or simply range we can say that capital R so it is a horizontal range you point water you point some more good distance total distance nickel no laggy I mean of you formula is got so you square sine 2 alpha divided by G so this is a formula to find the horizontal range of any particle distance from this point to this point so this is horizontal range and we can use this formula to find the range or horizontal range and similarly we can find out the greatest height greatest it is, we can also we can uh, find out the maximum range from here so if we can find out the maximum range maximum range or simply we can say r max r max then it will be u square by g u square upon g maximum value ko lagi sin 2 alpha will be 1 its value is 1 then after u square by we only get the value of u square by g sin ko value maximum 1 hoda honcha ter esko value 1 auncha ya and automatic u square by g pauncha hami chai so if we are going to find maximum range then the formula will be u square upon g so we can deduce this formula from this term and greatest height greatest height means capital H it is denoted by capital H and its formula is u square sin square alpha divided by 2g so this is a required formula to find the greatest height so this H is obtained by using this formula so remember this formula u square sin square alpha divided by 2 g here g is the acceleration due to gravity when you object math if i'll get it acceleration due to gravity let this my calm very else are you way but i'm easy it's not the greatest height nikala sakso yeah but um original range nikala sakso so by using this formula we can find out time of flight and by using this formula we can find out the time taken by body to reach the highest point so these are the related formula to solve the questions so with the help of this formula we can solve many questions so remember you have to remember this all the formula for exercises now we are going to do some exercises so now we have this question now so let's uh, listen this question a particle projected upward from level ground ground level water when you a particle like project very good so upward theta with this angle 60 degree 60 degree go angle ma project gari ego cha so this is angle of projection so let's write the notation 
angle of projection is 60 degree. So, this is angle of projection. Kun angle but of project gari go sa one information sa. With horizontal has initial speed of this meter per second. Suru ko speed, ane ko initial velocity. This is initial velocity. So, we can write down a small u means 40 root 3 meter per second. So, this is the starting velocity and the value of z is given z is equal to 10 meter per second square it is also provided information so our question is how long will it it be before it hits the ground kunai euta point bata ground level ma bhako point bata object lai phyakda kheri yesari is oblique motion ma euta curve path ma phyakda kheri ground mai auna lai kati samay lagcha bhanera sodheko यहाँ देखि यहाँ सम्म लाग्ने समय माथि सर्टन एउटा हाइट मा पुग्यो त्यहाँ बाट चाहिँ रिड्युस भएर यसको भेलोसिटी घटेर फेरि यहाँ सम्म आयो भने टाइम टेकन बाइ दिस पार्टिकल इज डिनोटेड बाइ क्यापिटल टी व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज टाइम अफ फ्लाइट एला टाइम अफ फ्लाइट भन्छन् जुन हाउ लङ मिन्स इट इज टाइम एन्ड बिफोर इट हिट्स द ग्राउन्ड ग्राउन्ड लाई हिट गर्नु भन्दा अगाडि यसले लिएको टोटल टाइम हामीले निकाल्नु पर्ने छ नम्बर ए so it is number A. And in number B, we have how far from the starting point will it strike? Number B ma ami sanga kesa. How far? It is total cover gari ko distance nikal na Starting point bata strike garin jail samma. This is striking point. Yaha bada ami le say kere starting point. Yaha bada start gari yo. Ra yo point samma ami ro. 9 years from you strike because I know last my strike on the there's some my leg cover very good distance when you go you capital R nickel number I'm laying capital R is equal to what it is um it is the question it question in which we are going to find capital R so we know that we have the formula here we know that time of flight Capital T is equal to what is the formula? 2u sin alpha divided by z. So, this is the formula to find the capital T or time of flight. So, we can substitute the value over here 2 into. So, u means we have 40 root 3. Sin alpha means it is sin 60 degree. Alpha means 60 degrees so we can write down sin 60 and the value of z is 10 so write down the value 40 root 3 into sin 30 means it is root 3 by 2 it is the value tabulated value of sin 60 and divided by it is 10 so if you solve it we can cancel 0 and 0 and this 2 and 2 also we can cancel here root 3 into root 3 means 3, 3 fours are 12. So its answer is 12 second. So the particle takes 12 second to reach the ground from its starting point. So this is one of the answer. So, so number B, for number B, we can use the formula of horizontal range. So let's write the formula of horizontal range as we know that capital R is equal to u square sine 2 alpha divided by z. So, this is the formula to find maximum range, not maximum range, only range or uh, horizontal range. So, we can put the value of u also 40 root 3 co whole square into sine 2 alpha that means sine 2 into 60. It is sine 2 into 60 divided by g means it is 10. So, sine 260 means it is 40 co square means it is 1600, root 3 co square means it is 3, and sine 120. Sine 120 means it is also 180 minus 60, that means root 3 by 2 and divided by 10, 0, 0 cancel. If you solve it, then we get. 240 root 3 meter so this is the range covered by that particle 
from this point to this point. So in this way we can solve the problem by using time of flight and horizontal range. Let's see this question now. A helicopter flying horizontally with a speed of 30 meter per second. Our helicopter sir. I'm a certain height my helicopter would ever sir. So it covers some distance from the ground. Helicopter you position ma sir. र हेलिकप्टर को स्पीड अब हाम्रो हेलिकप्टर चाहिँ यो पोजिसन बाट यो पोजिसन अप गिरा छ यो पोजिसन अप गिरा छ र यसको स्पीड ला हामीले यसरी लेख्न सक्छौ दिस इज यु यु इज इक्वल टू 30 मिटर पर सेकेंड सो इट मूव्स विथ दिस स्पीड एंड दिस हेलिकप्टर इज इन एल्टिट्यूड अफ 500 मिटर सो 500 मिटर को एल्टिट्यूड मा हाम्रो छ ग्राउन्ड लेभल बाट this surface level बाटा 500 meter को माथ या height मा सा और इसको speed, helicopter को speed 30 meter इन सा, helicopter अब यू मोशन मा जानी हुआ और helicopter बाटा कुने वड़ा certain packet, food packet से इन्दी drop गरने वाला सा है drop गर दा आमरू initial um, velocity, इसको helicopter को velocity जी इन्दी सा and standing on the ground, main is standing in this position, मान चे यू पॉइंट में standing सा and at what distance from the person? So, person bada kati distance ma should the packet be dropped? Helicopter le packet kati distance ma drop garda man chali to packet pounds ha wana rami ni nikal no padne sa. So, we have to find the distance. Distance we can suppose it as x, where x is the distance. Eti distance ma yo point bada helicopter bada ko yo point bada kati distance ma pocket hal da keri to. Food packet, food packet drop gar da kiri to person le to grab gar sa pound sa to nikal nu parne sa. So for this we can suppose it as like this. So u is equal to 30 meter per second for the person and altitude is h is equal to h is equal to 500 meter this is the height h means it is a height is equal to 500 meter and h is equal to uh, half by 500 meter h is equal to half gt square we have this is a formula of h your maximum height ko lagi chai. आमरो यो h को लागि हामी यो फर्मुला युज गर्छौ ut plus half gt स्क्वायर भन्ने फर्मुला हो अब जसमा इनिशियल भेलोसिटी हाम्रो 0 हुन्छ सुरुमा यो फुट प्याकेट नफाल्दै हाम्रो चाहिँ यो ड्रप गर्ने एउटा सर्टन पोइन्टबाट ड्रप गर्दा के त्यति बेला इनिशियल भेलोसिटी 0 हुन्छ सो half gt स्क्वायर भनेर लेख्ने half g मीन्स इट इज 10 एन्ड t स्क्वायर सो इट टेक्स सम टाइम सो इट इज t स्क्वायर but we know that h is equal to 500 also. So 500 is equal to 2 5 z and it is 5 t square. So in this way we can find out t. So 5 into 100. 500, 100 ko root means it is 10. So it takes 10 second. It takes 10 second. And also if distance covered by body is x. Let x be the distance from the person. So, person I leave you pension much of any x distance my only pocket food packet. Thal da kheri ule pound sa vannam kaje go. So, x is equal to initial velocity into time. So, this is the distance and distance is find out by velocity into time. So, it is the formula. So, velocity, we have the velocity of 30. 30 into time is 10. So, it will be 300 uh, meter. So, it covers 300 meter. So, 300 meter far, um, the food packet should be dropped at 300 meter from this point. So, 300 meter my will drop karyobani, food packet drop karyobani. So in this way we can find out 
this solution. So, you have a certain point but a drop where you go, certain height but a drop where the UT using zero and zero, and zero like me, your case man, or our cookie case man. When you go man, see the pound a case man, they have a x is equal to UT unza, or it equal to velocity into time where the we can get the distance um, obtained by this man from static point to the forward position. Okay, we have this question. Now, in this question, we are going to find angle of projection. So, angle of projection means it is alpha. So, alpha is equal to what? So, this is our desired term which are going to find where the range on a horizontal plane is. So, range means it is capital R and it is 4 times the greatest height. So, the given information is capital R is equal to 4 times of greatest height so from the given information we can write down r is equal to four times height and our formula is capital r it is given so giving giving given instruction so we can write down the formula of horizontal range and greatest height so let's write down the formula so its formula is u square sine to alpha divided by g so this is a formula of horizontal range is equal to 4 times and h means it is greatest height and the greatest height is u square sin square alpha divided by 2g. So this is the formula you have to remember this formula to use here. So it is 4 but this is u square 4 times means it is 4 u square sin square alpha by 2g and here maximum or horizontal range is u square sine 2 alpha by g now we can solve it here to find the angle of projection now we can cut down this g and this g and this u square and this u square and this 2 and this 4 so it is 2 times so sine 2 alpha means we can write it as 2 sine alpha cos alpha and here is also 2 sin square alpha. So, this 2 and this 2 again cancelled. And this sin alpha and 1 of sin alpha is cancelled. So, if this cos alpha transpose into this side, then it will be sin alpha by cos alpha. And here is no number. That's why I write down 1. So, we know that it is 10 alpha is equal to 1. And obviously, alpha is equal to 45 degree. Here, the 10, 45 means 1. So, comparing with these both terms, we get alpha is equal to 45. So, to make range is equal to 4 times greatest height, there should be angle of projection 45 degree. So, this is the required angle of projection. To make the range is equal to 4 times greatest height. So, in this way, we can solve the problem by using the formula of range and greatest height. So, we have to remember the formula of range and formula of greatest height. Okay, we have this problem now. A projectile thrown from a point in a horizontal plane comes back to the plane in 4 seconds. At a certain point, what a project is object, 4 seconds is the plane. When starting batter, then surface level batter, or go surface level my eye pugna lagni, so my amru four seconds. So it is time of flight. We can predict this is time of flight. Your jun jun point but start with you go, sir. Your particle, your level massa, or a particle, your level my project garipesi, projectile motion my servipesi, a point man. Ground level ma falera, batter falera, ground level ma on lago samela and give on zoom. Time of flight one zone. So write down time of flight is equal to four second. So it is given at a distance of 60 meter. So it covers 60 meter from this point to this point. To particle lay, projectile lay, cover very good distance. So it is capital R 60 meter and find the velocity of projection. When say you kun velocity le amile project gari object one nikal no poryo u is equal to what so 
velocity of projection means it is u u bhayo ra yalle banayeko angle hamro ke cha bhai cha alpha cha bhai cha we can suppose it as alpha so these are the information provided by the question now we can use time of flight here and along with horizontal range also so time of flight and horizontal range यो दुईटा फर्मुला हामी युज गरेर इनिशियल भेलोसिटी यु निकाल्न सक्छौ भेलोसिटी अफ प्रोजेक्सन निकाल्न सक्छौ सो राइट डाउन द भ्यालु अफ दिस क्यापिटल टी इज इक्वल टू 2 यु साइन अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाइ जी सो दिस इज द फर्मुला टू फाइंड टाइम अफ फ्लाइट सो लेट्स राइट द भ्यालु टी मिन्स इट इज 4 so it is given 2 u sin alpha sin alpha also we don't know but the value of g is given here so it is 10 so 2 5 is 10 and 5 into 4 means 20 so u sin alpha is equal to 20 so this is the one of the relation equation one this is one of the relation obtained from time of flight and also horizontal range means the formula of horizontal range is u square sin 2 alpha divided by g so this is the formula to find horizontal range so now let's solve this question range is given here so write down 60 and u square we don't know the value of u square but we can find out sin 2 alpha means 2 sin alpha cos alpha so let's write here g ta 10 sadai cha amro upon ma 10 sadai cha and u square and sin 2 alpha means 2 sin alpha cos alpha so this is the formula of sin 2 alpha 2 sin alpha cos alpha and we have the value of u sin alpha here. So u sin alpha ko value I mean rahno sakso, rahno sakso, rakho, rakhe rahe rahe value amro. So we can this one remove this form. And now we we have one step ten six that six hundred and it's equal to u sin alpha. So one of u sin alpha is here and another is u cos alpha u cos alpha and 2 is also here so divided by 2 we can do it you 10 eta goy 2 pani amro eta goy divide bhara ayo yoda u sin alpha sanga yoda u cos alpha sanga u square we have 2 u square that's why arrange like this ra u sin alpha ko thama 20 ya 20 rakhna paincha aba so we can write down as 300 is equal to u sin alpha means it is 20 so write down 20 into u cos alpha so we can write find out the value of this one 0 0 cut down and 2 15 so u cos alpha is equal to 15 so this is another result this is another result so from this result this result and this result we can find out the value of value of u so let's write u patta lawnu ko lagi hami dui ta equation ma ke garna saksau yesma dui ta ma ke garna saksau sin square alpha plus cos square alpha 1 huncha tesai le la squaring and adding garau we can find out the value of u divide garda ta u katincha heri yesma chai but squaring and adding garnu paryo okay squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 then u square sin square alpha plus u square cos square alpha and 20 square here is 20 square plus 15 square so if you take common u square from here then we get this is 400 this is 2 to 5 and this is 1 as you know that this is 1 after taking common u square so this is u square is equal to 
6 to 5 that that means this means u means square taking square root this means 25 meter per second so in this way we can find out the velocity of projection which is 25 meter per second so first of all time of flight is given so use this formula and substituting all the value we get u sin alpha here and again we can use horizontal range in this step so capital r is equal to this one u square sin 2 alpha by g so find the value sin 2 alpha we can write down 2 sin alpha cos alpha so this is a trigonometric formula and solving all the values we get u sin alpha in one side and u cos alpha on another side so u sin sin alpha is 20 from equation 1 so write down 20 and finally we get u cos alpha so to find the value of u from equation 1 and 2 we can do it squaring and adding so if you square and adding both together then we will get this one so after solving we get 25 meter per second so in this way we can find out velocity of projection with the help of time of flight and uh, horizontal range so okay we have this question the horizontal and vertical component two components are given here for initial velocity of the projection a uh, projection velocity of the projectile projectile ko initial velocity ko dui ta hamro um, component sa initial velocity la ami specially u bhane dinu garchau so write down let u be the initial projection u be the um, initial velocity of projectile initial velocity of the projection of the projection and its horizontal component it is u when you have to say initial velocity of projection who any u cos alpha the like original one so i mean u cos alpha when you go u in the in the goes are you and uh, u sin alpha te u goes a vertical component is a slimy u sin alpha one so you say vertical component to vertical component ma always sin alpha also horizontal component ma always cos alpha also this is b so this is given by the question so it is given so we can write here this one and if r be the range and h be the greatest height attain then we have to prove this this one from this one yeah but a starting girl i mean b by u down for sir this is very average starting girl eight h by g down for sir so its range is r and greatest height is h now we can prove this one we know we know that capital H is equal to u square sin square alpha divided by 2g and capital R is equal to u square sin 2 alpha divided by g. So, these are the formula to find greatest height and maximum no horizontal range. Now, we can find out the number a where which is lhs 4h by r so we can start from this term and write down it is 4 and h means this one so we can use the formula of this one sin square alpha divided by 2g and divided by whole divided by r and we have the formula of this one so divided by r means we have this formula u square sine 2 alpha divided by g so we can substitute the value of h and r in this question now we can solve it after after this one so it is it is 4 and it is 4 and one of the g and g we can cancel here this g and this g cancelled and this u square and this u square also cancelled and we have 4h 
फोर साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टू आल्सो वी वी हैव इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड साइन टू अल्फा मींस टू साइन अल्फा इनटू कॉस अल्फा सो दिस इज द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रिलेशन ऑफ साइन टू अल्फा सो इफ यू कट डाउन दिस टू एंड टू फोर कट डाउन एंड वन ऑफ साइन अल्फा साइन अल्फा कैंसिल सो साइन बाय कॉस मींस इट इज टेन अल्फा सो इट इज टेन अल्फा बट वी हैव टू पुट दिस वन बी अपॉन यू सो राइट डाउन द रिजल्ट साइन अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस अल्फा सो दिस क्वेश्चन वी कैन राइट डाउन लाइक दिस यहाँ बड़ा रिजल्ट ऑप्टेन भागो रिजल्ट यो हो साइन अल्फा बाय कॉस अल्फा बट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट बी अपॉन यू एंड एज यू नो दैट बी मींस यू साइन अल्फा इसमें यू को लैक बॉय यू आई मिल थप्पन सकते हों र तलो आम्रो यू था वनी यू को लगी स्मॉल यू आल्सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस वन यू साइन अल्फा डिवाइड बाय यू कॉस अल्फा एलाइसरी लेखना मिल जा यू मल्टीप्लाइंग न्यूमेरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय सेम लेटर यू 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 ले मल्टीप्लाई करना मिल जा एंड यू साइन अल्फा मींस वी कैन राइट डाउन यू यू so in this way we can prove b upon u from starting 4h by r is my h ra r ko value rakhe ra solve gardai janda hamile esto term paunchau ra yo term ma into u ra divide u garne bitike we can compare u cos alpha means u u sin alpha means b so we can write down the b upon u in this way we can solve the problem now we are going to find or prove this result this square is equal to this one so so it's the doing for question number b now we have r upon u whole square so write down the value of r so it means we can do it r square divided by u square obviously so value of r is this one l like whole square ko ko term ma likhnu paryo so we have u square साइन टू अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय जी को स्क्वायर एंड यू स्क्वायर मींस यू इज हियर यू कॉस अल्फा यू कॉस अल्फा इसको स्क्वायर होनी वाय और ये लाइमी एक्सपांड करना सकते हो आर स्क्वायर अपन यू स्क्वायर मींस सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एंड यू फ्रॉम द गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शन सो स्क्वायर मींस साइन टू अल्फा को क्या बायो साइन स्क्वायर टू अल्फा बायो डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर बायो एंड यूजिंग क्या बायो यू स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर अल्फा बायो सो दिस इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम हियर सो वन यू स्क्वायर एंड टू टाइम्स ऑफ यू स्क्वायर वी कैन कैंसल्ड फ्रॉम हियर सो वी गेट दिस वन and look at once and here is u square and 2 sin alpha into cos alpha is my square sir they were you whole square my girl divided by g square cos alpha cos square alpha you form my way sin square sin 2 alpha means 2 sin alpha cos alpha and square means we can put down square and चार डाइ स्क्वायर में दो डाइ स्क्वायर कट डाउन हुए बेसी बाकी रो यू स्क्वायर एंड जी स्क्वायर का सिर्फ अल्फा यहाँ चला ही सा नाउ वी कैन एक्सपांड दिस टू सो इट इज फोर टाइम्स साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा एंड कॉस स्क्वायर अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय जी स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर अल्फा सो वी कैन कट डाउन दिस वन एंड Arrange the term like this. I mean, like eight upon g is a ego so tall last my denominator my g is a way so eight I'm gonna number me like this. I want to add money go I'm gonna you form me long for that means this one u is square sin is square alpha by 2g you form I'm like it's a use a different say you so in this way we can find out last my 2g say you I mean 2g but here is 2g I'm gonna g square and u square sin square alpha u square sin square alpha we have 
एंड टू जी को लगी यहाँ टू थप्न पो सो यू स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय टू जी सो इट इज एच ओनली इट इज एच सो एच आउने टर्म यहाँ बट हम सेपरेट कर रेस पच्चीस एट बाई जी एच तो हम आई सको एवं जी अज हम थप्न पो एटा जी से हम यहाँ एक्स्ट्रा लेख क्योंकि हमीस जी स्क्वायर छा जी अज बच्च र एट पुर्वन को लगी हमीर यो फोर हमी तल टू पे चाहिए हमें यहाँ मत टू थपे टू इंटू फोर कर सौ यहाँ एक्स्ट्रा टू हमी थप्यौं ते भर यह टर्म से हम सेपरेट कर खोजे टू रू कैंसल हो बाकी रहो फो फो यू स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा बाई जी स्क्वायर एज इट इज सदै सो दिस टर्म कैन बी रिटर्न एज एट अपन जी अलरेडी दिस वन एट दिस वन जी एंड दिस इज द भू अफ ग्रेटेस्ट हाइट सो एट एज बाई जी इन दिस वे वी कैन प्रूव इट सो वी कैन एरेन्ज द टर्म टू एंड टू वी कैन मल्टिप्लाई एंड डिवाइडिंग बाई टू इन दिस इक्वेसन टू मेक द एट टाइम्स एच बाई जी सो टर्म अलग रिअरेंज कर सको वी कैन इजिली प्रूव दिस टर्म एट एच बाई जी सो नाउ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सो फ्रम अ पॉइंट ऑन अ ग्राउंड एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स फ्रम द फुट अफ द भर्टिकल वॉल अ बल इज थ्रोन एट एन एंगल अफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विच जस्ट क्लियर्स द टप अफ द वर्ल एंड आफ्टर वर्स स्ट्राइक्स द ग्राउंड एट अ डिस्टेंस वाई on the other side so we have to prove that the height of the wall is x into y divided by x plus y so we have one of the point over here and this this is the ball is thrown like this projectile motion so this is the highest point and here is a wall and this distance is x and any object is thrown with particle u with the velocity of projection u with the distance x from one side and another side edi yo point bada uta pati gaya bhane yelle y distance cover garcha y distance cover garcha this is the total range x plus y is the total range from this point to this point total range so the angle made by this one in this case 45 degree so angle of projection is 45 degree so this is the given information and uh, the height of the wall you wall wall ko height chai hamro kati cha bhanera hami la height nikalnu cha this is the height so maximum height bhaneko hamro yo ho so we can find out the maximum height and let's solve this question now we can solve this question by uh, angle of projection is 45 degree so alpha is equal to 45 degree we just clear the top of the wall and afterwards strike the ground bhaneko cha so we can find out x is equal to now x means it is distance u cos alpha times t u cos alpha into t x is equal to ut first ma cha hamro ut huncha The maximum height ma amro aru form lehnu par dena. So this is the distance. Distance is equal to velocity into time. So velocity is this one u cos alpha and into time. So we can write down the value of this one. So x is equal to u initial velocity we don't know and cos alpha means it is cos 45 degree and time is same. So x is equal to u times cos 45 means 1 by root 2 times t so we can put down the value u times t is equal to what ut is equal to root 2 into x so this is the solving process from here ut u times t means root times a, root 2 into x so ut is equal to this one equation we can suppose it as one equation one and now we can find out the another height of the wall means it is h h is equal to 
u sin alpha into t this is ut actually ut but it is vertical component h means it is vertical component so if you take the vertical component then we write down u sin alpha minus half g t square so this is the formula to find h and u initial velocity we don't know sin alpha means it is sin 45 t minus half g t square so it is u u and t we have u t sin 45 means it is 1 upon root 2 and minus half g t square now we can substitute the value of u t into here so with the help of equation 1 we can put the value of u t so it is root 2 into x and 1 upon root 2 is here so root 2 root 2 cancelled and 1 upon 2 g t square so this is equation 2 I am going to the height of the wall so it is h so h ko value I am x minus 1 by 2 g t square i or we can write down this one so we can move therefore h is equal to here is only x minus 1 by 2 g t square so it is equation 2 now so this is the maximum range now again maximum range so r max maximum range is equal to u square divided by g so this is the maximum range and total range is x plus y right we can write down x plus y is equal to u square upon g so this is the value of range x the y add variable maximum range maximum range answer so in this way we can put the value of this one so x plus y is equal to u square by g and now we can write down the value of x ut upon root 2 over here or u square we can write down the value of u square from equation 1 so Now x plus y is equal to u square. Now what u square value the answer? We can find out the value u square. I'm going answer my u china. So we can remove the u. So u square means root 2 upon x by t. Root 2 x divided by t co square into g the tallest amro the law 1 upon g like even what u square means how about u square nigal that root 2 x by t co square like no body you form my million of so. So, x plus y is equal to this one. Now, x plus y is equal to root 2 by square means it is 2x square divided by gt. 2x square. It is 2. It is x square and this is gt. So, this is the value from here. So, this half g t square so 1 upon 2 g t square so we can put down the value of g t over here x square x rakhne ra g t square go thang ma g t go thang ma yoda t rakhe ra g t go thang ma we can put the value in this step so in this way we can obtain equation 2 over here and here also in this figure x plus y is equal to u square by g actually it is the maximum range so this is the formula of maximum range range one of the range half part range is x and another side of range is y so total range is x plus y according to the question so we can write down this equation like this u square is equal to g times x plus y so we can write down this equation equation 3 u square means g times x plus y and now we can put the from equation 2 now 
from 2 we have h is equal to x minus half gt square so now we can put here 1 by 2 g and t square so the value of t square is obtained from equation 1 so t square means root 2 x divided by t value of t is divided by u and this will be square so it is using 1 it is using equation 1 equation 1 use garda amile esma t go value amile yaha bada nikalera tiyaha put garda testo aunsa so let's solve h is equal to x minus 1 upon 2 g root 2 go square means it is 2 and x square divided by u square so this becomes this one 2 2 we can cancel it and u square got home of g times x plus y rakhu h is equal to x minus g and x square and u square means g times x plus y and g and g again cancelled so if we subtract this one if you take the lcm of this one x times x plus y minus x square divided by x plus y then we get so x square x square we can cancel x into y in numerator we have this one and in denominator x plus y so which is our result so in this way we can prove the result by using this equation 1 and 2 and 3 so first of all we can write down the formula x is equal to u cos alpha into t then substituting the value of this one we get this one then after we can find out the formula of h is equal to u t minus half g t square and after substituting all the value from here then the value of u t is root 2 into x so put down root 2 into x and it will be x minus 1 upon 2 g t square and x plus y is equal to u square by g this is maximum range and from this equation we can find out e square is equal to g times x plus y and again with the help of equation 2 if you substitute the value of t square by using equation 1 then we get this one with the help of 1 so can after cancelling this and this number and after substituting the value of u square from equation 3 then we get this one so this u square is eliminated with the help of this is using 2 using 2 9 3 it is 3 using 3 so in this way we can substitute the value of value of u square and after solving or after taking the equation we get the required term so height of the wall is x into y divided by x plus y this is our target so we fulfill this target if r be the horizontal range of the projectile and h is its greatest height then we have to prove this initial velocity is this one initial velocity means u u ko value yo huncha bhanera hamile mean, prove garnu parne cha so r is given this is horizontal range and the small h is here greatest height so we have to know that the formula of capital r and h so maximum yo this is the range we have to know the formula of range and greatest height so let's write the formula of this one so we have capital r is equal to this is range and the formula of range is u square sine 2 alpha divided by g this is a formula of range and small h is equal to u square sin square alpha divided by 2g so this is the formula of range and maximum height or greatest height so now we can find out r and h you r square upon 16 h ko value i mean you put where i mean so r square by 16 h means what r square one bit u square sin 2 alpha divided by g is ko whole square unza. and 16 h means it is 16 and h means this formula u square sin square alpha divided by 2 g 
so this is the term after substituting over here so now we can cancel this term 2 erza this is 8 times and u square so it is u square into u square u square 2 times boy sin 2 alpha one equal 2 sin alpha cos alpha ho. But 2 sin alpha cos alpha one equal 2 to the 4 boy and sin square alpha cos square alpha divided by this is g square g square and here is 8 u square 8 u square sin square alpha and u g is math u g is math you open go open open g make it reciprocal and 8 u square sin square alpha is in denominator and after squaring this term we will get this one so one of the u square u square cancelled and one of the g and g cancelled and sin square alpha sin square alpha cancelled and 4 to the 8 it is 2 times so in this way we can find out u square cos square alpha divided by 2g so this is the formula from value obtained by r square by 16h so now this term is added with h so h plus r square by 16h means what now we are going to find this value so h means we know the value of h so write down u square sin square alpha divided by 2g plus here r square by 16 h means its value is this one so write down u square cos square alpha divided by 2g now we can take lcm 2g is the lcm and u square upon 2g is the common u square upon 2g is the common and the remaining term is sin square alpha plus cos square alpha so it is 1 so it is u square by 2g so from this relation this and this we get this implies u square is equal to 2g times h plus r square upon 16h अब आमी यहाँ के देखन सक्षों वने, यो रिलेशन इज कल टू यो संग बराबर उन्छा, सो so, यहाँ बाट यू स्क्वार निकाल दा यो 2G ले यहला मुल्टिप्लाई उन्छा, सो so, यहर इज अल्सो 2G, 2G times H plus this one, यो टम आमी लाई चाहिन जा, और यहला चे 2G ले मुल्टिप्लाई so this is the our result this is our required result so this is initial velocity means u and this value comes in square root of this whole term so it comes like this so first of all write down the formula of r and h that means range and maximum height then substituting the value of this one we get this one and we can add h according to the given condition h plus something and this one will be this one and after arranging the term according to the question we get the required result so we have this question now a cannon ball has the same range r on a horizontal plane for two different angles of projection angle of projection i mean a different angle of projection so let's write down let alpha and beta b to different angles to different angles of projection angle of projection just go yote range r unsa ille represent garne range duite ko yote unsa tar angle se hamro ke unsa different unsa so uh we have a range r is equal to u square sine 2 alpha divided by g so this is the formula of range 
r is equal to u square sin 2 alpha divided by g and another range is and another range is u square sin 2 beta divided by g so this is for angle alpha and this is for angle beta where alpha and beta are completely different angle such that so this angle such that alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree for maximum height so height means it is 90 degree so in this way we can write down beta is equal to 90 minus alpha so beta is equal to 90 minus alpha we can deduce from here and h and s dash are the greatest height so we have we are given h and s dash which are greatest height so write down the formula of h and s dash also capital h means u square sin square alpha divided by 2g so this is the formula of h and 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 s dash means u square sin square alpha so it is beta now it is we can write it as for beta of alpha go like here is the beta go like this but beta is 90 minus alpha so write down 90 minus alpha divided by 2g so when it it is solved then we get u square sin 90 minus alpha means cos alpha and e square means it is cos e square alpha divided by 2g so this is the value of h dash and similarly t1 and t2 are also given so t1 and t2 are the time of flights in two part so these are the time of flights so write down the formula of t1 and t2 for the angle alpha and beta so t1 is equal to it is a time of flight and formula is 2u sin alpha divided by g it is the formula of time of flight for angle alpha and t1 is equal to 2u sin alpha got home of beta but beta is 90 minus alpha so write down 90 minus alpha divided by g when we solve it then we get 2u sin 90 minus alpha means it is cos alpha divided by g so this is another time of flight for angle alpha and for angle beta so we can get all the formulas or related terms uh, based on h as dash t1 t2 so according as the provided information now we can substitute the value of this one here 16 so r square we can write down the r square over here so we can solve from here so now lhs is equal to r square question for a so this is question for a and r square means this one u square sin 2 alpha divided by g अब इसको स्क्वायर होनी बाय ए स्क्वायर सॉल्व कर दे जाने एंड इट इज ए स्क्वायर साइन टू अल्फा मींस इट इज टू साइन अल्फा कस अल्फा टू साइन अल्फा कस अल्फा सो ए स्क्वायर इनटू ए स्क्वायर एंड टू साइन अल्फा मींस इट इज फोर एंड साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा cos square alpha also cos square alpha divided by g square so we can separate the term like this u, u square go double and u square into u square uh, 2 sin alpha cos alpha ma 2 go double 4 sin alpha go square sin square cos is cos alpha go square cos square g go square g square now we are getting this h and s dash so we have h is this one so arrange the term u square sin square alpha u square sin square alpha divided by 2g so write down this one first of all so 
u square sin square alpha divided by 2g into another s dash means we have u square cos square divided by 2g so this is one this form also gone this and this gone and this and this gone and 2g into 2g it has already gone so in numerator we have this is 4 and 2 into 2 4 I'm extra 4 so we can multiply over here 4 into 4 it is 4 into 4 also so write down it is 16 4 into 4 means it is 16 and this is h so write down h and this is h dash so write down h dash so in this way we can prove the result from r square we can prove 16 times h times h dash so tom aru pahile amro h ra h dash ko tom sanga mila rakhne ta jun tom amro extra cha g ra g amro already g square sa milyo 2 2 ja 4 extra bhai into 4 garne and you 4 already yaha cha so 4 4 ja 16 so 16 h h dash is the our result now we are going to prove this one number b r is equal to 1 upon 2 g t1 t2 so we are going to prove this one so a the number a we have already proved now goes to number b so write down number b over here and we have range is here so the formula of range is this one u square sine 2 alpha divided by g so this is the formula of range and u square and we know that sine 2 alpha means 2 sine alpha cos alpha divided by g now we can arrange this term by for t1 and t2 and as you know that the value of t1 is this one and value of t2 is this one so first of all write down the term of t1 and t2 because we are going to form this term now look at here 2u sin alpha divided by g one of the term and 2u cos alpha divided by g so another term so what will be the extra term we can balance over here so here is g and i'm root g sa yola madre g sa tara yaya do it as gi so we can cut down one g over here yola g i mean cut no salt song is called like it all over tom milisa go over u square u square man this is u square this is u square u into u that is u square on a yola madre to say and to ray and to do it at one you are two to cut now i am one by two learning 1 by 2 and sin alpha cos alpha it is it's okay fine and we can write down this one and from here so 1 by 2 g that is same term 1 by 2 and g and this is t1 value of t1 to u sin alpha by g t1 and this is the value of t2 so in this way we can prove this relation as well so first of all write down the formula of range and sine 2 alpha should be written as 2 sine alpha cos alpha and we can arrange the term according to the provided information or required results so i will say you t1 t2 the t1 t2 ma jj term sa we can operate or we can use over here and body bhako term like multiply garne dheri bhako term like divide garne or I said Tom belongs the other we can write down 1 by 2 g t1 into t2 so this is the required solution